So this is my glow up video. This is how I went from this jump scare warning. So starting off with actual surgeries, I've only had my nose done. I got my nose done about two years ago in Scottsdale, Arizona. Everything else that I've had done was either filler or Botox. We'll talk about filler first. I have a full syringe in my chin, a half syringe in the apples of my cheeks, and a full syringe on my actual cheekbones. In my smile lines, she did a little bit here in the corner and then brought it down. A lot of filler in my marionettes. Her face doesn't even move. That is crazy. This is a young woman here. That is insane. Fellas, you need to be aware of what's going on with the women that you deal with. Seriously. That's sad that, you know, these young women feel they have to do all the stuff to their face. You can see it when I do that. And I think I want to go see her to get that fixed, um, get some of that dissolved. Because I, I feel like it made my jowls look worse. Duh, my lips. I've had about four syringes in my lips. Botox. Oh, wait, I forgot. I've also had my under eyes filled in the tear trough. Okay, Botox. My entire forehead done all over. My 11s all over here. Crow's feet. I've had my crow's feet done in my masseters. She's actually done Botox all the way up my jawline. I don't know if I noticed anything there. Oh, in my chin. I'm all over the place. I've had Botox in my chin too. And that kind of helps with like, you know, the golf ball chin. It helps with that. There's a you don't need to get it done. I get it done. I don't know if I'd get the masseters done again. So yes, it does slim the face here, especially if you have strong jaw muscles or if you have TMJ, it's awesome. But I feel like losing that volume in my jaw brought more laxity to my jowls. And I feel like it weighed me down a little bit here. That could also be more because of the filler here too. I've been getting microneedled every single month for the last four years. And that's really helped with texture, scarring, um, and elasticity. Oh, I also started wearing contacts. I get my colored contacts from tie-dye. I will make a separate video talking about all those and the kind that I get. They are prescription too, which is awesome because I cannot see at all. That is all of the things that I've had done. Fellas, is this what you want? Is this what you're attracted to? It is sad to see so many young women so unsatisfied with who they are. I mean, look at that. That is crazy. There's nothing wrong with the way she looked before. That's how, her, you know, your, your higher power, your God, or whatever you want to call that, made her. There's nothing wrong with that. That is fake. Oh, man, it's, it, it just amazes me that she had all of that done to her face. And for what reason? You know, I think a lot of it has to do with these type of women wanting to be in, uh, in competition with other women. And I think that the need to get so much attention is another reason why they do that. It's, it's, it's so bad, you know, and if a guy, you know, meets her and sees her like that and she tells him all this stuff, well, maybe he sees his video or something and she tells him all this stuff. And then he says, you know what? I don't want to deal with that. She'll be the first one making a video saying that the guy's a loser. The guy is judgmental or whatever the case may be. I, don't, I just don't understand why women have such a hard time just, you know, being who they are. You know, they do a lot of this stuff to be in competition. You know, yes, some of it is for men, but a lot of it is to be in competition with other women. And it is sad. This is just another example of how easily women follow other women, even subconsciously. You guys don't understand that subconsciously you guys are always in competition with other with each other. That competition doesn't have to be in a, you know, in a way that harms other people. Um, it could be in a form of a video like this saying, look, this is what I'm having done. But at the same time, she's showing 
the other women that look, I had this done and I look so great. What about you? Or maybe you should do this too. So you can look like me. And then you have this, this pack mentality that women have, and they just follow that. And they will assume that this woman is, you know, getting so much action from men and she's, you know, living her best life. And they go out there and they try to repeat that. I mean, let's be honest, a lot of people are just straight up gullible. They will follow anything they see and anything they hear. And unfortunately, it's even more severe when you're talking woman to woman. I mean, look at the world. Nothing works without women participating in it. I'm in the United States right now. We have an election right now. Women have always controlled the election. Women control everything. And they don't really understand how they control it and where it comes from and how they should uh, master it. You know, they have used it to just take vanity to levels that are just beyond reasonable. And they don't understand that this type of behavior, behavior is just going to leave them very sad, broken, and lonely at the end. It's it's a sad thing, but to me, at least. You guys, let me know what you think about this video. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you're on TikTok, give me a like and show me some love over there. I'd appreciate it. And as always, have a good day. Peace. May the force be with you.